film. And welcome back everyone. So today I am finally getting around to doing the walk around so I can show you how everything is currently set up before my Moab trip. I am filming this before I add the frog fad winch bumper and the gleaming alloy skid plates for the rear diff because that might be a separate video anyway, I don't know. So here we go, I'll go ahead and start this walk around and show you guys what I have. So to start off, I have the 32 inch Milestar Patagonia tires, uh, 2265-70-17s, end up being about 31.9, I think is what the measurement is. I have the Rocky Road Super Sliders. Those have saved my bacon so many times. For the suspension, I have a set of Bill Stein's B6s all around. So I have the rear shocks, then the front struts. On the front, I have the softer Dobinson Springs. On the rear, I have the HD springs. So along with the Bill Stein's B6s, I also have a pair of Hazard Sky spacers. So I have got the, since the B6s are shorter than the Dobinson's, I had to add the two inch Hazard Sky lift to get me back up in the front. Cause it was drooping pretty bad after I had to take those Dobinson's off after they failed. Then in the rear, I have just a one inch spacer which you can't see because all the mud but the one inch and then the HD spring which puts me somewhere around two and a half I think ish lift overall I'm not entirely sure I never took before measurements because I'm an idiot Midland radio this is the 32 32 inch antenna it's mounted to one of these little bracket clamps same as the hood mounts, hood lights, also use those. I have never had any issues with car washes and those. So my other antenna is the stock antenna for the Midland radio. I decided to do, first I had it just on the body itself, but then I go under a branch, and knock it off and it would be dangling on the window. So then I figured out and use one of these magnetic light mounts or whatever they are for. Put it underneath the rail. So now when I go under a branch, this self writes and I don't have to worry about it getting loose. So that is my solution for that. It works beautifully. This radio has held comms on a 50 Jeep train in the woods. So, I really like it. I have the radio mounted on the side of the center console. This is the MXT 115. It looks as though it has a speaker in the handset. However, as it comes from them, it, there is no speaker in the handset. It is just a metal weight. So I ended up putting my own speaker in the handset. The wires are already run through there. You just have to re-solder some connections in the box itself. So that will avoid the warranty if you ever need it. But I've used that thing for, I think three years now, maybe four, at least three. And it has worked beautifully. I did have to replace the 3M sticky tape on that guy because it came off once in the hot summer, then it's been fine after I replaced that 3M sticky tape. And now for the light controls. I just made this little plastic bit here, put a bit of 3M sticky tape on each end of it to hold it down. You can see all the connections in underneath. So this is for the Rough Country 40 inch curved light bar. And then I've got my pod lights and then I've got my rock lights. So all that is run up and under, then it goes underneath the gas pedal through that grommet on the floor. I have a brake controller, Prodigy brake controller for the trailer. That is also 
run up here super easy to plug and play just get the correct adapter and there's a plug up underneath the dash there's a few videos for that out on youtube i'm not going to cover it and i have my iote wireless phone charger so it's plugged in and run down here it comes with this which also has a usb plug so you don't necessarily use lose the, the ability to plug something in but it has this little 3m base plate gives a nice clean surface to mount to ever since i put this on i do all sorts of trails i haven't had any problems simply push it in these arms snap in holds it really well push those levers and it comes right out i haven't had any issues with it coming out or getting loose on the trails so then obviously a g-force meter the gopro mount is up in here put it as high on the windshield as possible so it gets higher and sees better downrange then got my Furion backup camera for the trailer probably don't need to leave that in all the time but I have recently just because I don't feel like messing with it got that run over here and then the plug is down here so that way when I need it I can just plug it in I also have the power for the radio is running in here for the constant on so I can have that turned on at any point when I turn the Jeep off it doesn't restart and I've got my snacks and everything in here so I have wired a USB splitter for a 110 outlet in the back so it goes down here along the seat I've got like a 10 foot USB-C connection then I've got a regular USB plug for the 110 so when the Jeep is on this will power that distributor I have the radio wire run around the side and under here the excess just lives right underneath that carpet that floor mat then I run up the wall and here I've never had this leak no water has ever seemed to leak into here so I think it's because this is just small enough that it still creates a seal between both the door and the the frame so I have spare tire I've got square tube mounted to some body bolts not body bolts but like there's some threaded bolts going into the subframe up here and then down there so I've got some thread couplers on those got some nice long bolts to screw to that then I mounted the square tube to that and then mounted a piece of all thread into that so I just spin this off and I can take the tire off so that's my spare tire the hijack is zip tied into the spare because if I need it I can it's not an emergency I can get some clippers cut that get it loose I also have zip tied the handle to it because then that will rattle more super soaker for when I need to clean radiators and belts it's very helpful this has been a lifesaver The 16 inch echo battery operated chainsaw I have the 2 amp and 4 amp batteries for it and they work amazing I've never actually run out of battery for it on a ride first aid kit and let me show you how I have the cargo I have all my recovery gear in this bag underneath this bag is my Two air pumps that I use one on each side of the Jeep all my electrical 
zip ties, duct tape, jumper cables, everything random is in here. Jump box, because jump box is so much easier than jumper cables. Have mallet. Machete. I also have a hatchet down there too, in case I need to use it if the chainsaw dies. Probably should keep my umbrella in the cab, but whatever. So then I have this toolbox here. I've got all my small tools and pliers and everything else in here. Impact, two batteries, all the sockets I'll ever need. Then I also got some longer thin-walled sockets to help with other people who need tire change on the side of the road. Have the thick plastic hug caps. The thicker impact sockets can't get in around the bolts. And I've got a couple jugs of water if I ever need it. I've used those a couple times to fill the super soaker. It has been really helpful. Then I also have, well, I have a shovel underneath there. Got a spare air filter. Someone put me onto this idea for a while ago is some cheap ice scrapers. When you have a bunch of mud, like kicked up around stuff, those are great for getting mud off of things. I keep all my air down stuff in this little cubby. Keep extra valve caps. For the lighting, I have the 40 inch curved light bar from Rough Country. Comes with this black cover. This cover makes it to where I don't have any issues with wind noise at all, but I cannot use it with the cover on because no light gets through. My other complaint with the cover is this likes to drop down. If I didn't have anything, the front of it would be against the roof. So my solution right now is I've got a little screw with some tape on it to give it a little buffer to keep it from coming spinning down all the way. I've tried tightening these bolts, but it's just the weight is too much on that. These are the Hazard Sky light bar mounts that go underneath the rails. Some no main pod lights that I'm probably going to replace at some point, but they worked okay. Now they're just dead. I think this one has like one LED that's still functioning. But again, these little hood brackets Hood clamps have done wonderful for me. I have not had any issues with any car washes. I've also put some plates in here. I need to try and re-secure those because when I was going up the waterfall or other rocks, this would push in and just tear this aluminum square tube out. So I made some plates to go into that. Now those take the load all the way down the bottom so I had to switch locations here so I tried to wait on all the noise from the neighborhood from the neighbors doing yard work and then there was a little party and everything so I waited a few hours still couldn't do it so now I am out here at the park trying to get the rest of this little bit of a video done so just want to let you guys know that changes are coming I'm now rebranding my YouTube to follow with my business adventure so YouTube will now be fearless adventures to follow with the business I'm creating that will be a trail guide service so I'll hopefully start doing a bunch of trail rides get you guys involved with it I need to do a bunch of scouting runs this spring and summer and then hopefully by the end of summer and early fall I will be able to take you guys out along with me on all sorts of cool rides getting some badges and everything else so i've got a website at www.gofearlessadventures.com i have links to all my merch i've got stickers i've got shirts i also have the events are listed on that for all the rides they're listed on that page so check that out i have a group on facebook called fearless adventures follow that page you'll get all the information that is where i'm posting publicizing a lot of the rides and stuff I'm gonna do so check that out give it a follow give it a like hopefully this year we can get this going really good 
but I am super excited that now that I have my baby back, I can start getting that going. So uh, thank you guys for all the support through the years. It's meant so much to me. If you ever see me out and about, definitely say hi, wave at me, yell at me. It makes me smile so much knowing that you guys are out there and knowing that people I have never even met know who I am. So thank you guys for the support. You guys are awesome. I can't wait to see you guys out there on the trails. So until next time, guys, keep on jeeping.